when it comes to Android Oreo update, OnePlus has promised to release the update for most of its device before the end of this year. The 8.0 stable update has already officially rolled out for OnePlus 3 and 3T before the latest OnePlus 5 or 5T. For the OnePlus 5, the company promised an Oxygen OS based Android Oreo beta before December, and they delivered. The company also promised to release a stable OTA update in early 2018, but it looks like OnePlus has somewhat shifted their timeline to give OnePlus 5 owner a little Christmas present in the form of stable OTA update of Android Oreo. So in this video, I'm going to do a full review of Android Oreo update on OnePlus 5 and also I'll be showing all the newly added Oreo features in action. Excited? So let's get started. Starting with the aesthetics, everything looks just like the stock Android Oreo that we saw in the Pixel devices. By doing the swipe up gesture, you can access the app drawer. By just tapping and holding an icon will trigger the app shortcut feature which is actually very useful and will save you from few clicks. Additionally, there is also a very cool feature known as notification dots which is introduced in Android Oreo. Now this will basically allow user to see notifications they have missed without pulling down the drop down menu from the top of your screen. The notification shade is also redesigned as now you get 4 by 3 tiles. Plus you also get a new toggle option known as switch data card which could be very handy for those who use data on both the SIM cards. Now if you go to the setting menu, there is nothing new like we have seen in the Android Oreo setting menu but I think it also looks good or maybe they want to keep it like this. If you go to the about phone, you can clearly see that this is Android Oreo 8.0 which is based on Oxygen OS and the Android security patch is of 1st December 2017. Now these are the benchmark scores of this stable Oreo build for those who are interested. Now before moving forward to its performance, let's first talk about the newly added features and changes of Android Oreo. And one of the most interesting feature is the picture in picture mode which is basically a special type of split screen window that should be particularly useful for watching videos while performing other tasks. Next up we have Autofill API that simply try to help apps manage password and form better data than in previous versions of Android. The Autofill app stores and secures user data such as addresses, usernames and even password to assign Autofill app. For instance, if you open an app like Twitter and you want to sign into your account, now this will automatically show you the suggestion of your username. Once selected, it will automatically fill the password and now you're good to go. Next up is the Hi-Fi Bluetooth Kodak and this one is my favorite. As we all know, Bluetooth has always been criticized for its lower audio quality when compared to set of wired headphones. And nowadays 3.5mm jack is becoming less standard as the major smartphone manufacturers are getting rid of it and focusing more towards wireless audio. Thankfully Google has added a handful of high quality Bluetooth Kodaks to Android Oreo which is hidden inside the developer's option. By using these Kodaks, you will definitely find significant improvements in audio quality. Other cool features include notification channel that lets you choose between less useful and more useful notification for a specific app. Snooze notification that will make the notification go away for a specified time then come right back when the time is up so that you never miss any of your notifications. And the list is actually quite long. I had made couple of videos on Android Oreo features and changes that you can watch and get a better idea. Now I would also like to mention those Oreo features that are not yet available. Adaptive icons, navigation bar tuner, custom lock screen and project travel is not implemented as of now but I hope they will be added soon in the future updates and if I had missed any Oreo feature then do let me know that in the comment section. Rather than these features, OnePlus has also added some features and tweaks to the Oxygen OS version 5. Some of these are the minor changes and some are new to the OS, like the newly added Parallel App feature that will let you create two instances of same app. For example, you can now use two WhatsApp accounts on the same device. Next up is the redesigned camera app which didn't add any new feature except the beauty mode but it makes the UI much more convenient and easy to use. More on that in the later part of the video. Now some minor changes include places tab in the gallery, added history feature in the calculator, new calendar alarm feature in clock app, new design for lift up display, optimization in battery saver and Wi-Fi plus you also get some minor redesigns in the launcher and shelf. 
Now, if you talk about the performance, then I must say that I'm pretty impressed. Initially, when I updated to this ROM, I was not expecting this to be very stable as this is the first build. But after using it for a few hours, I was really impressed with its stability. Everything like camera, audio, fingerprint, etc. is working just fine. In my usage, I found that the performance is top notch. The UI is very fast and responsive and there is no lag while switching between apps and games. And that's why we love Oxygen OS, right? Moving forward to its camera which is also working fine and as I mentioned earlier it has a redesigned camera app. By just swiping up you will get access to all the different modes which is a much natural gesture. Both front as well as back shooter can click some really awesome pictures and during my usage the camera app doesn't crash even once. In terms of camera quality I didn't find any major changes or improvements from Android Nougat so don't expect it to perform better than Android Nougat's version. The battery backup is also decent. With a moderate usage, I am getting about 5 hours of screen on time which is almost similar to what I was getting in Android Nougat and that really disappoints me as I was expecting some improvements in battery department. Hope they will improve the battery backup in future updates. Now this is an incremental update so in case you haven't received it yet, don't panic. You will surely get this update in 3-5 to five days. So guys that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.